Now at six, a homeowner in Kendall Lakes got quite the scare this morning as a tractor trailer crashed into the backyard of this home in the area of Southwest 51st Street and 127th Avenue. The driver was transported to Kendall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The cause of the accident remains under investigation. No one else was hurt. Back in April, the Fisher Island Home Association applied for and was awarded $2 million from the COVID-19 stimulus fund. Days later, they decided not to take the money. Today, residents of the exclusive island are giving back to those in need and are donating $1 million to Feeding South Florida. The organization has seen a 600% increase in demand since the start of the pandemic. Some of the money will be used to purchase two refrigerated tractor trailers, as well as help fund drive through food distributions in Miami Beach. New at 6 o'clock, while face masks are meant to protect one another during this pandemic, they have created challenges for the deaf and hearing impaired community. A man in Coconut Grove turned a, to fix for, a fix for himself into a global outreach. And as CBS 4's Francis Wang shows us, that's not even the best part of the story. It was 1995. Brian Travers had just graduated from medical school and was about to begin his residency. I had a, what's called a spontaneous subdural hematoma. It's a rare life-threatening type of cerebral hemorrhage that left me in a coma on life support for a month. Brian survived despite the odds, but he did lose his hearing. He became a stay-at-home dad, what he calls his favorite role of all. Brian's wife, Erin, inspired by the care he received, went to nursing school. My wife became inspired by the care that I received that she went to nursing school and she became a nurse and she is now in an intensive care unit nurse to give back just to the people like I received when I was sick. Aaron is now on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, Brian, who relied heavily on lip reading, struggled to communicate as people started wearing face masks. <laughs> what started as homemade masks for his family so he could understand them turned into something so much more as people started inquiring everywhere from the hospital to the supermarket. Every day I wake up and I just see new orders and I spend my day at the sewing machine making masks and it's just uh, an incredible experience. The biggest perhaps communication thing that you could receive is a smile. Brian's masks are now global. It's kept him quite busy until his postponed cochlear implant surgery. This is the moment his implant was activated. Can you hear my voice? Can you hear it? <laughs> And he heard three very important words for the first time in a long time. I love you. <laughs> oh my God. I want to hear the ocean, and I did. And it sounds greater than ever. Brian's one silent world is now full of the sounds he's been yearning to hear. An inspiring reminder to all of us not to take anything for granted. I can hear the wind, I can hear the birds, and you know, my life is just it's wonderful. And I get to hear my kids, and uh, I, there's not much more I need. Oh, here I thought it was just a story about masks. He's got the so most important more. thing you do need wow. is love. And those yeah. masks, I love them because you can see the person. That's mm -hmm. you can see the, the smile, smile. <laughs> so important. Later.